There's just some absolutes in the car industry that are just, they're like, they're, they're rules, they're commandments, they're must do, can't fails, they're just fact. Ford versus Ferrari is an insane movie. Fact, the Fast and the Furious must be watched at least one time a year. Fact, the Porsche air-cooled turbo is a death machine. Fact, and once you're a Subaru as a car enthusiast, it seems like you never want to ever go back. The star thing, fact. All right, I'm Alex, Alex did FI Instagram, and today we're gonna be talking about one of the major platforms out there in the world that everyone seems to love. A car that is chopped off exhaust and has plastic dipped wheels that just forever, they just this is what they do. A car that has been a stance car or a rally car, a car that makes any college kid very happy to finally live up north because they can finally use their car for some form of purpose, okay? It's the equivalent of having an overlander. In this episode of Why? We're gonna be talking about why do people love to modify Subarus, specifically the WRX. And if you're just jumping into this video, pitter patter, let's get at her, okay? Don't forget to subscribe, and if you're looking for aftermarket wheels, tires, or suspension, be sure to hit us up over at fitmentindustries.com. And of course, if you guys haven't heard yet, we are debuting our own wheel brand. It's something that we've been working on for about a year now. It's called Artisa Art Formed Wheels, and we're releasing it on the 20th. So if you're watching this after the 20th, be sure to go check it out over at fitmentindustries.com. It's really cool, I'm very excited. I talk about it the whole time, but we're not gonna, we're gonna talk about Subarus. And we've got month long promotions for November if you are watching this towards the end and it's like November 28th, we still got some promos going on. So if you're interested in picking some up before tax season, now's the time to do so. Subarus have had an incredible history. One of that, what are you doing? Why are you loose? Sorry. And Subarus have had some questionable moments in their lives, but no matter what, it's always been a manufacturer that for most people out there, like our parents, are seen as responsible, okay gas mileage, bean cars that have an okay interior and something called all wheel drive for those winter months. And pretty much what they're known for. To car enthusiasts like us, there's only a few Subaru models that we really pay attention to, but it's known as the aggressive rally car driving, column cray, snow burning, two step flame, Cobb Axis port, unequal length headers, brrr, aggressive driving, Subaru WRX, and probably some Outbacks and some, some, some Impreza's and, and some, some legacies probably are out there too. I mean, Crispy has one now, I mean, but why? All right, we did this history of the young and rumble lifestyle which Subarus came from, and why do people actually love modifying these cars versus just going and picking up like an old Scion or going and picking up an old Toyota, and not 90s Toyota, I mean like mid, early 2010 Toyotas. Well, the number one reason why most people love Subarus, quite honestly, is what you get for the car, especially for a car enthusiast. People like you and people like me. Subarus pack a hell of a punch for most enthusiasts that don't live in perfect 80 degree weather. And you're getting a car that checks most of the boxes. It's a four cylinder turbo, all right? Not only is it a four cylinder, it's a four cylinder boxer motor with unequal length headers, specifically within the Subaru WRX, which provided people with a glorious sound and a lovely power curve that makes the platform an absolute blast to drive. And sure, the spark plugs can be a pain and sure, the ring lands have jokes, all right, surrounding them. And sure, it can get a little bit of rust and sure, the interior can shake apart a little bit. And sure, the paint isn't inherently like fantastic, but still not enough to outweigh the, like, the single positive thing of having a lovely motor that goes and makes really nice noises at you, okay? Head out to the marketplaces and you'll find plenty of Subaru WRXs and even a few legacies with an exhaust, Cobb access port, intake, blow up valve, 300 horsepower, and a small amount of sticky vape juice left in the cup holder for under $7,000. Yeah, it's Dakota, how many taco ding dogs that is, but that's a lot and it's a good value though for it as well because you get four doors, you get everything that you want. And they just bolt power on so well, it makes to want, you know, it just, it's a good thing. Properly built Subaru motors with the right hands can easily take 500 horsepower without spending an atrocious amount of money on it. They don't need that amount of horsepower, but they can do it. But once you have it, it makes you want to scream like James Pumphrey. It's just a thing that you do because it's a fun, car. If it's not the fact that the price is like almost a Black Friday special pretty much all the time, it's probably the community that would be a reason why you'd buy one. Buy an old Mazda and you'll get a bit of love, sure, but not a ton. Buy a 2000 Toyota and people ask questions like just, you know, hey man, why? 
but you buy a 2004 Subaru WRX STI and you will watch the world implode. The community is so huge for these cars and I'd argue that the scene knows more about Subaru than Subaru, you know? The North American Subaru and Preza Owners Club is like a country in and of itself. They could probably divide from the United States like Texas. You have the SubaruForums.com, you have Ultimate Subaru, you have Club WRX, you have I, WRX STI, and every other platform of Facebook club that exists. If you need to know something about your Subaru, it's literally right there, you know? It's like Big Brother. Incognito won't help you, but the forums will, and Subarus are really well supported. And they just go well with life. I mean, imagine a car that sounds aggressive, doesn't need to be put away in the winter, has a big ass wing, all right? Or it doesn't, and then you put the STI wing on it, you're one of those people, but that's okay. Comes in a cool color and has four doors, doesn't have massive electrical issues, it has a big trunk, and a third pedal that would make Mr. Colin McRae around the occasional parking lot, make you feel a little bit like a rally car driver, okay? It's a Subaru WRX. It's the car to pretty much buy if you're jumping into like, Life. Have you seen a Stance WRX? They're fucking mint. Matt Ritz has one. It makes me cry every single time. Static, bag, rally cross. They look good in any setting. They have enough people to work on them that you don't have to make like as many mistakes testing the waters, modifying your car, because you can go out there and look at the forums and see what you're not supposed to do. It actually makes them an easier car to build up and look good at the same time without making as many mistakes. Imagine being the first person to read the adventures of Huckleberry Finn and writing spark notes on it. Sorry if you had to do that. But now imagine if you're just reading the spark notes so that you don't have to read the whole book. I mean, what's easier? That's pretty much what the Subaru forum community is like. You just don't have to make the same mistakes. If you're on the fence of picking up a Subaru to modify, you're gonna wanna ask yourself a couple, two, three questions and make you feel a little bit better or worse about yourself. Number one, are you prepared to hear absolutely every noise a car could possibly make in an interior? If so, proceed. Are you prepared to deal with the inevitable jokes about your, you know, your gaskets, your, your oil leaks, your consistent repairs, and historical references of Subarus being known as terrible commuters? If so, proceed. Are you ready to be that guy or gal with a loud car that wakes up neighbors and 100% confirms that you would two-step if you had the tune for it? If so, Proceed. The Subaru platform is one of the best places to start with car modifications if you're looking for a turbocharged, all-wheel drive sedan that can live life. It's generally cheaper than Audi. It's more versatile than Nissans. It lasts longer than non-R Volvos, and it's still made, produced, and supported, unlike its main rival. <clears throat> Sorry. But what do you think? Why do you think Subarus are loved as much as they are? Let us know. And if you're looking for aftermarket wheels, tires, or suspension for your newly acquired Subaru or otherwise, hit us up over at fitmentindustries.com. And of course, be sure to check out Artists of Art Formed Wheels is something that we're really excited about. You can either check that out on Fitment Industries or you can go check us out over at Artisa. And the website, you can Google it, it's pretty exciting. Artisaartformedwheels.com. Mm -hmm. I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. I'm sorry for the Evo guys. I think they're still supported. I think we still love Evos just as much as STIs. They're just tougher to love. They're just a little bit more tough.